COVID levels are back to 2020 levels, which means hospital visits are also on the rise. But health officials say the symptoms in these cases aren't as severe. Cake Stephanie Minichi has recommendations from local doctors. About 15% of patients are testing positive for COVID, says Ascension Via Christie's Dr. Howard Chang. That's almost one in seven, but Chang says the severity is pretty low. It's treated like the common flu for the most part. Sedgwick County Health Director Chris Stewart says COVID numbers have been rising since June. Chang says they're seeing 2020 levels of positive cases. He says increases usually happen when more people are getting together. But why the decrease in the severity? People have more um, immunity in the community than we did in 2020. Our bodies hadn't seen that virus um, in 2020. And so for that reason, the levels are lower than they were in 2020. She says it's people who are older, the very young, and those with underlying illnesses like heart or kidney issues. Stewart warns of deadly variants. A KP3 or KP311 is a variant that's going around now nationally, and it's not causing any more severe disease necessarily, but it's still there's still people dying. Dr. Chang says it's still important to wash and sanitize your hands regularly and cover your mouth when sneezing or coughing. Whether it's the flu or COVID or RSV or any of the other respiratory viruses out there, just make sure you stay away from the rest of the world and wear a mask if you have to go back to work. Both Chang and Stewart recommend anyone six months or older getting a COVID vaccination. Stephanie Manici, Cake News on your side. And Stewart says the health department will be offering four free COVID-19 tests to each house at the end of September.